Hi, I'm Garbreak1. The following session contains rats. Your discretion is advised. I mean rats like the animal, not rationalists. Rats like big mice. Enjoy. Hello, I'm Garbreak1, and this is, uh, this is Midgardia. Just before we get into the actual game, I'd like to remind everybody that we are sponsored by Roll20, which is the virtual tabletop uh, solution that we use for all of our games. It can be used for a wide variety of things like Mitch Jim, Ghostbusters, and of course D&D 5th Edition. Um, and yes, I have these lovely players, so Pi, why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Pi, and uh, I've forgotten my character's name. I'm Mike. playing Mike. It is not Mike Wazowski, but I am so, so sad about that right now. Mike Wazowski. I, uh, I'm Mike with Mike Norbert, and, uh, as you can tell, I am incredibly charming and have good way with words. So what's it, what about your character? Is, is your character charming? <laughs> Show. Hey, I'm Show, and while we all enjoy... Pi making the Midgar to whom face. I'm playing Tomiyuki Tommy Fujioka. I break things and then I build them and I can play poker and I can apparently play tabletop. Who knew? <laughs> and Alice. Hi, I'm Alice. I'm playing the lovable skeptic Kinsey Bell. You also have more ears than anybody else in this chat. Yeah, I have six. Are you proud? I'm pretty proud. I'm pretty sure you only have four. Everybody else has zero. Oh yeah, there yep. you go. <laughs> <laughs> I, I adore the gamer girl chair, by the way. It's fantastic. So do I. God, I wish we were sponsored Garm, by do that. I, do I send... I sense jealousy in the Garm. Maybe. Garm, get a gamer girl chair. Get it. Have ears with Get me. it, Garm, get it. Get it, get it, get it. Wait. Wait, wait, would he, have, would he still have bunny ears? I was thinking he <gasps> could attach pink wolf ears for the trans wolf Sona. Yes! yes. <laughs> Pi, make note of this. So, uh, this, 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 this campaign uses the, the original Ghostbusters uh, D6 system made by West End Games, first published in 1986. <laughs> Which was five years before I was born. Um, so if you're watching this and saw Ghostbusters in theaters, I have terrible news. You're old. Um, <laughs> or if you're like my roommate and know someone who was in the movie. Oh shit. Nice. Um, before I get too distracted. Well, after I get too distracted, but before it happens again. It's too late um, <laughs> the, the, um. the premise of our... Our particular Ghostbusters campaign is that the original Ghostbusters have gone mysteriously missing, and uh, these schlubs have been hired to take over in the meantime as uh, criminally undertrained interns. Jane's still around for whatever reason, despite Egon not being there. Also, I realized they hired Louis Tully as an accountant at the end of the first movie, and I've literally never mentioned him. That's fine. Don't worry he doesn't show up until we fuck things up with the, with the accounting. Yeah, basically. I've never mentioned Slimer either, because... I don't like Slimer. No, no. <laughs> the least favorite thing about every piece of Ghostbusters is anyone media. else. But kids love Slimer, but kids shouldn't be watching this channel. Why there's no Slimer. Good. So it's another brisk October's day in the lovely city of New York, the borough of Manhattan. Um, I don't actually know specifically further than that where you are. On, on some sort of streets, perhaps. Um... What are you from folks? With TMNT. There actually is a Ghostbusters TMNT crossover comic. I want to read it so bad. It looks so fucking goofy. Um, oh no. It's actually two of them. <laughs> but, uh, anyway. Pi! Pi, why do you think I have ADD? Ooh! A disease with acronyms. That's the worst <laughs> kind. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying so hard to not derail further. I'm trying to at least like get through the right. intro. Um, and yet here we are, ten minutes in. <laughs> so, what are you folks up to on this uh, lovely October? I don't know, afternoon maybe. Hmm, that's a good question. 
I'm going to roll a d2 because there are two things that I could be up. Okay. I love rolling I, dice. Yes, I am building a uh, a little mechanical dog that could house our our uh, dog spirit just because I can. You're all so opposed to just leaving him on the on the like RC Ecto one. I want to give him options. You know how how certain owners buy clothes for their dogs. I'm buying and or building other things that it can wear. We could give him a Bodies. bow tie. On the other hand, Venkman might try and steal his RC car back, and we don't want the dog to be trapped with Venkman of all people. That's a fair correct. Point. We need several. Several. I'm probably gonna do something with a helicopter at some point too. Hmm. You know, if we have enough stuff that looks like a dog that the dog can go in, we can freak out Venkman because he'll never know which one he's in. Please don't make the ghost spirit able to fly. But, I mean, <laughs> at, at least I didn't actually put together a proton pack, like a miniature proton pack in it. Because that would be a bad idea, wouldn't it? Yes, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> He'd still shoot better wait, than me. Wait, 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 wait. Ghost fighting ghost dog? Okay, shit, now I kind of want to do it. <laughs> Comedy relief mascot doesn't go on missions, I'm sorry. Got a three in electronics. You can't miniaturize them. It's a it's an unlicensed nuclear accelerator. You cannot miniaturize that thing any further. So what you're telling me is because it's unlicensed, we can do whatever we want with it. No, I mean physically. I have a three in convince. <laughs> Does rolling well, convince work on the DM? <laughs> Sorry, else. Does rolling convince work on the DM? No. <laughs> I can only be bribed with snacks. As is the way. Get on Amazon really quick. Oh God! <laughs> you don't have my you address. I know that high. for a fact. This is true. I does. Anyway, so uh, <clears throat> it's um, uh, it's a nice October's afternoon in in lovely Manhattan, which is where you are in Manhattan. Um. <sighs> You're, uh... God, I forgot what my intro was now, you sons of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, I, I love you all, I'm so glad you're here. Um, as, as you're, you know, killing time, uh, all up, you know, upstairs in the, in the top level of the firehouse, in the little, like, communal area there, you know, playing cards or building things that'll light on fire in a few minutes, you know, stuff like that. I mean... You hear the sounds of, uh... Of footsteps coming up the stairs, loud, angry footsteps, and you see a man with a sh with a, a sharp nose, blonde hair, and a widow's peak, uh, and a suit come up the stairs, and he he looks at all of you with just like this stupid, cocky grin on his face, and he goes, "Who the hell are you people? I heard that all the Ghostbusters have gone missing, and what you chumps are running the operation now? Who are you?" Chad, Chad, buddy, friend, look, oh. if you have a problem, we can still solve it, and we will still make you pay triple because you're an asshole. What do you need? Uh, as as you say that, Janine comes up the stairs behind him and goes, Walter Peck's here to see ya. Yes, Chad. I'm, I'm just going to call down, not acknowledge him, and go, thank you, Janine. <laughs> the original, like, look. Your previous, the, the other Ghostbusters were a bunch of, you know, chumps and charlatans, but now you weird goons are you know, running around my, uh, running around the city with unlicensed nuclear accelerators. You, you guys represent a serious public health risk. I'm sorry, weren't you the one who wound up making the problem the first time round? Mass hallucination, gas leak. Didn't happen. Mm -hmm. Doubt. Sounds plausible. Right, I mean... So what you're telling me is you would rather have the original Ghostbusters to make a scene of things rather than us, who are clearly not going to? At least I knew which one of them I needed to keep the sharpest eye on. It was Van Kim. Oh, <laughs> I'm just going to point to Mike. Fair enough. <laughs> Your eyes should always be on me. 
I feel vaguely uncomfortable about this. Yeah, see what I mean? Just like Venkman. Hmm. Hmm. You were the one who started it. Well, I'm here to remind you that if you guys make any mistakes, any unnecessary collateral damage, I will be on your ass like flies on shit. I'm... You know, Tommy, hmm. I believe this man is a shit chaser. Maybe he's I mean... possessed. I'm gonna take I out fly God. I'm gonna take out the PK meter and just gonna be like, mmm. Get nope, that thing just away from asshole me. here. Uh, and here I thought you were going to work on, say, licensing the uh, proton packs. There is no licensing. Did, did you, uh. There is no licensing yeah. for man so portable. What rules are we breaking if there is no license for it? Civilian operation of nuclear technology is forbidden outside of non outside of medical contexts. Oh. Those seem like very big words for you. Would you like a dictionary? Just as he's about to open his mouth to say something else, you hear the sound of high heels running up the stairs. And uh Jeanine's head once once again appears like the bare minimum level it needs to. <laughs> Cause Fuck running more than you have to, Because, right? yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, interim Ghostbusters, I've got good news for you. The call down at one of the subway yards. Ooh. And, Janine, you know you don't actually have to wear heels inside? I like them. They make me feel pretty and tall. And you are both. Oh. Yeah, but they... Alright, I'm not paying for your broken legs. Actually, right, under my go. insurance policy, <laughs> she says as you presumably slide down the poles. <laughs> Can't hear you, don't know the pole! <laughs> what sick best is private messaging me? Oh, it's actually Alice's notification that she's live here. <laughs> I'm smart. <laughs> Some of us don't have many points in cool. It's true. Look at this hair. Hmm. At least plus three. It's so cute. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Floof uh, plus three. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so leaving a baffled and somewhat annoyed Walter Peck in your wake. Uh, oh, but before, before I go down, I'm just going to be like, just remember, don't touch anything this time. Zoop. <laughs> I mean, or do, it was really funny watching you grovel last time. It can't always be mass hallucinations and gas leaks. You, would be you shouldn't mixed. be doing drugs! <laughs> uh, if we were a fancier stream, I'd have, like, a cutaway where it makes the, you know, the, the, the siren noise for scene transitions. Mm -hmm. um, and yet. But we don't. Because that's money. Yeah. Also, that wee might be woo, licensed. Wee woo. <laughs> Can't license pie making it. It's true. <laughs> Wish I was making pie. I'm hungry. Um, <laughs> Noted. What? Listen, I got up late and didn't eat anything today. It's okay. What? Don't worry about it. I'll eat after session. Um, mm. Once you guys bust the ghost or figure out that there's like a weird, you know, home maintenance issue or something. Who knows? Mm -hmm. um, you know yeah, it's not going to be the home maintenance really issue. Likely. It's never, it's never going to be the home maintenance <laughs> issue. Yeah, but now you said it. The ghosts are haunting your house, and they want you to repair your furnace because it's leaking carbon monoxide into your house. <laughs> I mean, get on that, Tommy. We can make a fortune. Anyway, um, you guys reach uh, a, a subway station. Um. I looked up a map of the New York subways to try and find a good maintenance yard for this. Um, I did. I it's it's really complicated. <laughs> so I'm not telling you where you are. Yeah. Um, I've never been to New York, so I mean, I knew it was complicated, but you reach some kind of subway station. <laughs> uh, and yo, uh, what are you guys taking down with you into the subways? 
Uh, proton pack, PKE meter, and probably ecto goggles. Use the fancy so. cards. Boom. How many? How many pairs three. of things do we have? Three. Three. I'd be so sad if we got DM DMCA for something like the fucking Ecto One sound. Imagine. Twitch right. would never do that. They would totally. Uh, I'll probably take Ecto goggles. What, like a trap and a walkie-talkie? Uh, you'll probably want a proton pack. Okay, I'll take e a proton pack instead of a trap. I'll bring the trap. All the art on these I'll cards was done by me. Uh, honestly, if you want to communicate well below ground, you might want a bullhorn instead. <laughs> I forgot that was an option. I would not recommend uh, the beach. If you court. go under the second tab of Roll20 and under gear, uh, you sure. can click and drag the names of the gear and it'll bring out these little cards like we've got. Why is the bullhorn so big? Huge. What? <gasps> It wasn't before. I don't know. I dragged it out, but it was tiny. Garm, why? You can be very Garm, loud. Garm, what you do? Very loud. I didn't do anything. You can be loud. Very loud. Um. Yeah. Maybe the bullhorn is that size to indicate how loud you are. I think that's <laughs> true. Uh, but yeah, just drag it out beside your your character there. I see yes. one already by me. And then I accidentally... Oh, I, I see one over here. I, I, I realized you can't see my mouse. Um. Hi. I know how computers work. <laughs> Do you guys know that Alice is a professional streamer? <laughs> yep, yep. Check her out at twitch.tv slash... <laughs> Check her out at twitch.tv slash Alice at Wonderland Games. Watch this. Bam! Why are they all big now? Okay, why are they all huge? I don't know, but mine are the normal <laughs> size. <laughs> Garm, what did you do? I didn't- I haven't touched anything. Mm, Wait, let me try dragging out the proton pack. Yeah, see, that's normal. Oh. Okay, oh, so horror. everyone just has to drag out my items for me, which I'm okay with. Alice, In why- In fact, if everyone wants to carry their- uh, my items for me as well- no. I can carry my book with me, and we're good. I'm not muscles. Right, bullhorn. <laughs> uh, you said bullhorn, proton pack, and ecto goggles. Yes. All right. Uh. Oop. Haunted master. What does yes. this tome with a J on it do? Well, I've been informed <laughs> that's actually a cursive capital T. Yeah. Uh, it's it's. Pie's making fun of me because I was I was talking through it while working on the art and I was like, I don't know why it has a J on it, because I'm uncultured. <laughs> um The Tobin Spirit Guide is a collection of references and information on various kinds of spirits. <gasps> Wait, uh, so it's not actively inhabited by anything? Hold on. No, it's just like I mean, probably not. Why, why does not this picture have everywhere? Hold on. Forget the That's why I'm bringing it. Oh, you're bringing it? I mean, I can trade you for the ecto goggles. Please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you guys are enjoying the equipment system because I, I worked really hard on making these. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could have put a description for the spirit guide. Uh, it doesn't actually have any mechanical effects, just it means that having. I don't care! <laughs> All right, I'll add the word book to it next time. <laughs> you just straight up call it book with capital T. That's all it should be. <laughs> book. book. It's got a J on the cover. Don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Carrying this book allows you to remember what a capital T looks like in cursive. <laughs> uh, all right. That's jamming. Jumping for joy on that one. <laughs>
<laughs> so you guys make your way down into the to the 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 New York subway system, a dense rat's nest of uh, you know rails and trains and humans and um, rats and rats, actual I mean, literal rats. He just said that. Yeah. Um. Humans. As you as you work your way through the the crowd of people down the stairs, um. Sorry. Uh, you make your way down to the platform and you find a fairly uh, husky uh, MTA employee in a you know high vis vest with a like flat cap and a scraggly be yes. <laughs> that was your own fault for taking a drink, just as you described them. <sighs> Shut up, Picaru. We didn't know what the word husky meant. Oh yeah. What did she thought? No, I just... she thought it meant big boobs. <laughs> That's busty. Um. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, so I'm gonna choose the picture of the scarred, however I want. Uh, he like me probably does have large tits if he's about the same body type as me. Um. <laughs> he... <laughs> bouncy, bouncy, everybody. Um. <laughs> he he can be as husky as I want him to be. Exactly. <laughs> And he's got like a, you know, he's he's got no tan because he's an MTA worker and spends all his time underground. But he's got like a black scraggly beard. There's more there than mine, um, and like a gray flat cap, you know, like kind of newsy cap kind of thing. Um, and he he walks up to you guys, you know, gives you a little wave and goes, "Hey, you must be the Ghostbusters. How's it going?" We're, uh, we're good. Uh, th there's a, you said there was a problem. There's a lot of people here for the problem. Usually there's more, ah, yeah. oh no, and my dress. Yeah, well, it's, it's not his. It's, uh, you know, down at the maintenance yard. It's between these two stations. Uh, we, this is just the easiest access point uh, for that particular maintenance yard coming from, you know, the top side. And excuse me, how far down is the uh, maintenance yard we're heading to? Oh, the maintenance yard's a mere... I have no idea how distant... Uh, how how far apart New York subway stops are. This is like yeah, roughly equivalent to a block topside. You know, on the surface. But down below instead. It's not that different from, like, where you're from. Okay, it varies wildly where I'm from. Sometimes it's two blocks, sometimes Precisely! It's... Okay, fair point. Um, it's about the equivalent of about a block topside. You'll have to, uh, you know. I, I can show you the way, but we'll have to have to walk there. <sighs> I know, I know. <laughs> if it was later at night, I could bust out the, uh, you know, little rail runners that we got. But, uh, you know, the city never sleeps. Or at least, you know, not until about 2 a.m. when we shut down for maintenance. Um, as he says, let's say, like, train pulls in and offloads even more people. You hear, uh, at least one person shout, Hey, I'm walking here! <laughs> uh, you carefully ignore two people punching each other on the platform. Welcome to New York! Yeah. <laughs> one person going, Hey, I'm walking here. Hey, I'm, I'm walking. walking here. <laughs> hey, I'm walking here. Just, just every third person just has different inflections of I'm walking here. <laughs> no, no, it's the same person. Actors. Oh, it's the same. <laughs> okay, and they just have different inflections each time. I'm walking here. It's I'm called, walking here. It's called range, sweetie. <laughs> Look it up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm walking here. <laughs> That's my Shatner. Um, Shatner's. I thought you were going to say that was your Christopher Walken. Hey, I'm walking. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> my name is Fred, by the way. They call me Big Fred. Cousin Husky. You know. I'm gonna try not to stare at Fred's huskiness because that's impolite and gesture to move along. 
<laughs> My eyes are up here. <laughs> God, I, I regret giving him the flat cap because I could totally give him a, uh, you know, the hat that says my eyes are up here, but then the arrow is still pointing upwards. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Pi, please don't die. <laughs> but no, we still got the newsy cap. Um, and he, you know, he pulls out a giant ring of keys and leads you to, like, a gate at the end of the platform. He spends what you feel to be an inordinate amount of time flicking through the key ring as he goes, so, uh, you guys don't look, TV adds a couple of pounds, eh? You guys, uh, you guys don't, don't quite look like what I saw on TV after the, uh, whole marshmallow thing. Yeah, they were the faces. We're the ones who they, uh, have do the other grunt work and stuff. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I know how that goes. The guys that they recruit for the ads are all paid actors for the, uh, they don't actually work for the MTA beyond the, a promotional propagandial capacity. I thought they looked to something. But yeah, we do all the real work around here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Bunch of, you know, working grunts. I get you. Mm. Ah yeah, this key. And he, you know, sticks it in the lock on the gate. Click, click. No, not that key. Chick. <laughs> this one. And he sticks it in and the lock opens this time. <laughs> Down here, it smells not bad. Beyond the general smell of, like, body odor, uh, as you move further into the actual tunnel, it smells mostly, like, dank. Um, it, it's hmm. moist down here. Uh, the New York subways are actually kept, like, unflooded by a constantly running set of pumps. Um, a prolonged power ride would actually flood them probably irreversibly and destroy much of New York. But hopefully that doesn't happen today. Apocalypse facts. Yeah. The world without us is an excellent book. Please read it. Um, Wait, that's actually true. Yeah. 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 No, that's like that. That's a real true fact. <laughs> why Hurricane Sandy was so bad, and why so many stations flooded. That makes sense. That's really cool. That's why there was a shark swimming in one of them. <laughs> that. <gasps> Wait. Yeah. There's not normally one. Not normally. Did um, I hear Sharknado IRL? <laughs> the sharks were just as much a victim of, of the shark NATO as the people were. This is facts. And they were uh, almost as poorly animated. <laughs> uh, so as you know, um, the New York's, the, the, the subway, you know. Y y'all are familiar with it, I assume. Mm -hmm. You know rats, right? <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> It's one of the city, city's most blessed institutions, I tell you what. Um, you know rats, right? You've seen them before? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they employ them, it's called Venkman. Hey, hey, I like you. I'm walking. I'm walking. walking. Um. So as we've had this, uh, this weird trip, down on the maintenance yard down here, we've been seeing rats, and, you know, that, that ain't nothing unusual. You, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're subway workers too, in a sense, you know? I guess. I don't know where I'm going with that particular. the sanitation department? Exactly. Kinda. I, they ensure the janitors have jobs, so I guess that's like working. Kinda. I don't know where I'm going with this. But anyway, um... I also make sure not to step on the, the third rail in the center. It's electrified. It'll shock you. Why is it the third rail if it's in the middle? Why wouldn't it be the second rail? Because traditional trains have two rails, and this is an, an additional rail. Can I look at Mike and be like, don't pee on it? It is not recommended to whiz upon the third rail. <laughs> Nor on any electric fans. But anyways, so seeing rats ain't nothing unusual. Seeing rats that uh, that glow, you know, that's that's a little more abnormal. Uh, yeah, and is that that unusual? Bit. Is you know, I, I mean, <laughs> I mean, you, you occasionally see them on the north side, but and then yeah. I'm gonna take out the PKA meter as I'm saying that. 
and kind of start it up. Yeah, it's not exactly Denver out here, you know? Golden rats ain't nothing normal here. Um, and as he says this, you know, ahead on the, like, further down the line, you see a, a like, yellow blur run by across the tracks. Yeah, like that shit. Hmm. And the PK meter, like, boops as it runs by. Huh. Well, there's definitely a reading. Yeah. I've been getting these weird little sons of bitches. Uh, the kind of, the, you know, at first we didn't worry too much because it was just in the maintenance yard and, you know. But once once it starts getting closer to the stations, that yeah, that that affects the uh, the Monday the the civilians, the tourists, you know, the the real the other life of the city aside from, of course, the MTA. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So uh, we call it an exterminator, and uh, you know, what most kinds of like rat killing gas is flammable. Yeah. Yeah, we found that yeah. out. Did you not know that? They know what now. I... Yeah, we every day's oh. a learning experience, you know? Until it's not because you blew up. Well, luckily, the only person who got injured has, you know, six months of medical leave saved up, so uh you know, he's just kicking back and watching the jets, you know. Wh- why the jets? I don't remember main New York sports teams and had to pick one at random. <laughs> the Jets are a New York team, right? The New York Jets? That's a thing? Please? You can go with the New York Mets. The New York Mets, yeah. It? There we go. The, Jet, yeah. the, Jets, the Jets are also. Yeah. Oh, thank God. I don't know if this is canonically accurate to 1990 Vag, but, um, you know. 1990X. Yes, 1990X. Um. So, as you know, was, uh, that, that was a bit of a problem. We, we determined that this may be a, a problem from a different type of exterminator. And as he says this, uh, he goes, oh, wait, lean against the wall. Lean against the wall for a sec. I do it without actually asking. And, and a train blows by. You all stand there somewhat concerned at how close you are to uh to the to the train. After it finally passes and you can hear things again, it's just like, yeah, so anyways, as I was saying, um some kinda some kind of you know, electro rats infest in the uh maintenance yard, so you know, we call we call use. Ain't nobody else in there right now. Are are you sure it's not like some promotional Pikachu thing? What the hell is a Pikachu? Is that one of those Japanese rats? <laughs> um, I'm sorry, I can't help but imagine it's not anyone associated with the actual company. It's just a really big fan of Pikachu with a paintbrush and yellow paint just looking subway somewhere. <laughs> Catching rats and painting them and then sending them on the way. Oh my god, I mean, glow in the dark paint. I mean <laughs> even if it was the company, I have definitely heard worse video game promotions. Uh, shout out to Resident Evil leaving dismembered body parts all over, I believe, London. Oh yeah, good good times, good times. And they didn't recover several of them. Um Oh. Yeah, no, like they kept a list of where they all were, and like they all had serial numbers and shit. And after the campaign, they sent people out to retrieve the ones that hadn't been turned in, and, like, a torso and some arms or something never got recovered. It's free meat? I I don't think it was uh, edible. I think it was probably picked up by Garm's Transwolfzona. <laughs> My Transwolfzona's a Londoner, right? Eh? <laughs> yeah! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What, did you not think that your Transwolfzona had some class and a bit of an accent? Yo, that all checks out. <laughs> You know, Garm doesn't, so you might as well have the Transwolf Zone have it. Yeah, it's all about being, you know, aspirational. Um, anyway, so he uh, gets to a, a, a point where the tracks diverge, one going on to an obviously more used tunnel and one into a, uh, you know, a yard. You can see, like, the rusted out hulks of a bunch of old uh, old trains stacked up in somewhat improbable ways. 
you know, there's a few places where it's one on top of another. You're not quite sure how that happened. But that's always how it's depicted in TV, so, you know, it must be right. It's like bogeys laying around and spare uh, doors. The TV's never wrong. The so... TV's never wrong. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Spare parts lying all around is what I'm telling you. So, uh, where, where have you seen most of these rats? Well, most of these, uh, weird little electro rats, these little shocky sons of bitches, they, uh, tend to hang out near the back of the yard. Um, yeah, it, it, not in the actual shop itself, but, uh, you know, the... Of course not, of course not. Yeah, they, they seem to stay around where, uh, where we can actually get the trains to. Do they eat anything? I mean, Mikey said his lunch was missing the other day, but, you know, that might have just been a uh, little Jim, you know, ravenous son of a bitch he is. Is, is, let me guess, little Jim's the biggest guy you got here? Yes. Very astute. Yeah, it's a classic. Um, is there a way that I can actually look through... Joven's spirit guide to see if there's anything <laughs> anything about electric and or rat spirits you can take That's a look fair. through Tobin's spirit guide <laughs> check the look Japanese section guide. first <laughs> <laughs> so you, you flip through and you check you know rats and there's like a few entries on you know uh, rat kings, uh, plagues, all that kind of stuff, but nothing about electric rats. You flip over to, a, you know, electric, and there is a brief section on how electricity is is uh, a supernatural phenomenon not fully understood in the, uh, at the time of writing. Uh, but nothing specifically about the intersection of the two. Hmm. Open oh, Spirit Guide is not changed. a modern book. <laughs> <laughs> it's a okay. classic. Um, what would you folks like Hi. to do? Do you have enough to share? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I'll have some. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just splash on the webcam Tough shit. for the best. It's just mine. <laughs> Imagine not sharing your crayon juice. Or my seaweed. Uh, right. Yeah, so uh, you guys are in a, like, dank and rust-smelling uh, maintenance yard. Mm -hmm. I mean, the main thing that I'd say to do is to try and see where the readings are the strongest, because that might be the source of it. And if we can deal with the source of it, then maybe the rats won't be electric or glowing anymore. Right. Mm -hmm. I'd like to put on my ecto-goggles, mm -hmm. because if there's rats running around this frequently, there's got to be a trail that they're following. Or yeah. making. Alright, why don't you both give me brains rolls? Not the ghost, not the ghost. Got... Oh, sweet. Eleven! Did, did you get a ghost? Thirteen. No. Alright. Wait. No. Oh, four. What up, Toby? Do you have five in brains? Uh-huh. I'm a nerd. It's true. Um, I built that character. Yeah, but what about your character? <laughs> I'm a nerd. All right, so uh, <laughs> so Tommy, um, mm -hmm. following actually no, I'm gonna start with uh, Mike because the actor goggles are fantastic. Um, Mike, as as you're looking around with the the uh, the ecto goggles, you can see. The occasional little like trace of of some sort of uh, psychokinetic <laughs> psychokinetic uh, resonance, and also no Tommy is not my self insert because I can't play poker or repair electronics. Um, you can break things just fine though. It's true. You can't make music either though. No 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 no. I mean for the traits because you created the character, not the personality. Yeah, fair enough. I created like ten pregens. <laughs> um. Anyway, it's game control. Um. Your lovely Ghostmaster will continue his description now. Uh, <laughs> Mike, uh, you see 
occasional traces of psychokinetic resonance on on the the third rail uh, leading further into the yard. And uh, Tommy, mm -hmm. as as you you know walk forward into the yard, waving the PKA scanner back and forth, little side bits go up every time it gets close to the third rail. Hmm. Well, it's definitely got to do with the third rail. Yeah. So, well, Fred, Fred was your name, right? Yeah. So, I've been told not to piss on the third rail here. Not recommended. What happens if you do? Well, when, uh... <laughs> <laughs> when Piss Soak Willie tried it, uh, well, he had, he, he went into some kind of convulsions, uh, thus the name. Okay, yeah, but... That's where all the rats are running. See, you can you can see here with the little uh, wings here going out. Every time uh, it gets towards that, <laughs> see. I don't know. Maybe no, it's no, like no. maybe it's like how Boyd's can stand on uh, you know power lines. Oh yeah, 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 the rubber feet. I'm sure, but rats piss everywhere. I'm. Um, oh. You haven't found any dead rats around that were glowing. You know, now that she mentions it, I don't believe we has. Hmm. Alright, well, we need to follow this uh, third rail. Yep. Which way should we go? This way? Or that way? And how do we not get run over? Because I'd like to not do that. Well, it's now, since, pretty. now since you're in some maintenance yard, nothing should be coming through here. Should be great. Well, Kenzie, you're prettier. You go first. <laughs> um, firstly, I feel like you'll need me to figure out what's going on. Secondly, you think that I can dodge a train if I need to? Look at me. No, no, I'm saying <laughs> if we're all going to die, I'd rather be looking at your ass. So, Kenzie. I'm gonna shove Tommy first. <laughs> I'm not gonna make it an option. Hey, no, 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 no. Uh uh uh. <laughs> nope, I was gonna offer to kind of shove Mike first into. No. No. Wait, why don't we do that? I, yeah, we should. <laughs> Good question. Mike? Shove. Are you? <laughs> shove. Well, Mike, I guess you're going first. All right, then I uh, oblige and shake my ass. Mike, as you saunter forward, ass jiggling as you go, <laughs> um, cheeks they clapping in the night. Go. I can't be stealthy. <laughs> I mean, chill, Cardi B. It's okay, Mike. I can guarantee nobody hates to see you leave. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> Mike suffers severely. <laughs> uh, anyway, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as as you're walking Mike. walking up the tracks, following the 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 occasional trails of uh, psychokinetic resonance, uh, you see them suddenly divert off to the side and into a a train car uh, at one of the branches. Ah, oh, great. Amazing. Glowing trail goes that way. Fred's back at the gate, by the way. Fred's not following you. That just means he can't tell us not to do this. Alright, uh, I think we should, uh... PKE we should check towards out. the train car. Beep, 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 beep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, that's what I thought. All right, you two, plug your ears for a second. Okay, I'll oblige. I would like to take out the bullhorn. Oh no! Fred, we're checking out the train car here. Okay. You hear a booming okay. voice uh, echo from further down the maintenance yard. Neat. 
Uh, I would also like to take out the bullhorn, and I am going to completely forget to tell anyone to cover their ears. Uh, I'm going to shout gonna... just straight towards the car. Ollie, ollie, oxen free! You hear... You know, because if someone says that, they're required to come out. It's the law. <laughs> it's the law. I mean, uh... it's just like, if you say Marco, they have to reply Polo. Right, exactly. liar. Uh, you don't hear anything, po mostly because you're all now deafened. Um, but <laughs> after a moment, you can smell the distinct smell of ozone uh, following that shout. I don't like this. Proton Pack is being slung oh, off shoulder. And I am just going to saunter my way behind the people with Proton Packs! I got, oh yeah, god, I'm you gonna, didn't bring I'm right. going to take out... <laughs> I'm going to take out mine as well. And, uh, obligatory proton pack, I choose you reference. <laughs> We're facing Pikachu, yeah? Yeah. Listen, I brought the one Pokeball, not the gun. <laughs> I believe that leaves uh, Mike to open the door as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I... Dash forward, open the door, and run back. As you yank open the the door of the subway car, uh, you see inside it several like glowing rats chewing on wires inside. Uh, what would you oh. guys like to do? Oh crap! Hmm. Sorry, glowing rat-like entities, as well as a significant amount of like yellow flickering. Uh, Sparking slime on the the floor of the car. I assume I'm still wearing the ecto goggles. I want to make sure there's nothing on the ceiling that's gonna fall down on us. <laughs> that's fair. Uh, there's a little bit of uh, there's like some goop that might be dripping from the roof every now and again, but uh, no rats. But I'm is it like ghosty about... goop? Uh, it's the same sort of like sparky ghosty goop that's uh on the floor all right then. i'm gonna complain about being glorified exterminators with less pay i mean it's fair mm -hmm. <laughs> but it is kind of what we are listen it's less pay but it's also fewer roaches Ooh, that's a good uh, idea I'm for just, the next one i'm i'm just gonna gesture around to the area that we're standing in go are you sure <laughs> yeah <laughs> these are rats all right, come on. Let's actually approach. And I'm going to start moving forward to see if there's something other than the rats in there. All right, are you climbing up into the train car then? Hmm. Garm's face makes me think do not climb into the train I, car. I, I probably would approach, pause, and be like, Mike, you go first. Listen, my hands are full of proton. I would like to kick the uh, the train car and see if oh, it rattles dear. so I can freak out the rats so that they'll come out. The train car weighs several tons. Yeah, and I don't think it's in good repair, so bits of it are going to shake. Oh yeah, it's New York. You're right. New York in the 90s, even. Um, I'm gonna make sure that Kenzie is staying back with me, just in case the train car decides to, you know, like, fall over. That's Whoop. the plan. I, I want to look around, I want to see if there's some way that we can, like, turn off the third rail, because if they're chewing on something that is electrified, and they're picking up electricity, I, I feel like we shouldn't be doing that. Uh, you would probably have to go significantly further down the tunnel to, like, de-electrify yeah. the whole area. That's that's my thought, but I, I, I want it as a consideration. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, I guess you guys do have rubber boots, probably, which likely has some sort of, like, ability to deal with electrical stuff. Yeah, but we didn't check them for pin leaks, and I'm not going to trust them. That's fair. Um, yeah, so you, you kick the, the side of the car, and uh, your foot goes straight through the rusted side of it. Eh, eh. <laughs> Poor Mike. Eh. You suffer. 
Um, Come on, you've got the muscles. Uh, I think, I think yeah, Mike's pure for running. Can't go rest the train. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'll show you guys. I'll uh use uh my my massive legs to make the hole bigger, get my foot out, and then uh walk through the doorway. All right. Helmet. While avoiding the goop, I am avoiding the goop. All right. Sorry, how, how massively walking on those legs? Like, if you compare the hamstring size to a fruit, like, where, where are we at? Well, this would help if I knew where the hamstrings were. The back, <laughs> the back of the leg, isn't it? Yeah, the, the, big, the big back part. The big juicy part. Ah. Alex, your description of that worries me. What, the juicy part of the leg? Yes. What's wrong with it? Do you eat Alice people? could have said the meaty part of it. <laughs> yeah, meaty's fine. Juicy is weird. Is it? Is it? Yes. Yes. Because it's made of meat. Are you trying to imply that well-cooked meat is not also juicy? The hamstring should not be well-cooked. <laughs> Why not? You want them raw? Exactly. Oh, that That's definitely... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Precisely. I think my Brown players face. might be cannibals, everybody. I no no no. <laughs> Except no, for no, show. No. Trust you, picky. No, just... That's a weird way to say vegan. I am not. Ew. Pardon pardon our our Alright, so we're talking like baby pickle, zucchini. I have a three in muscles. Alright, I think so, that's zucchini. Like, cantaloupe? <laughs> I like grapefruit. Okay, 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 okay. No doubt, no doubt. Yeah, no doubt. I just thought we're not talking like pumpkin here. Feels like, woo. <laughs> Look, I skip a couple of leg days. Not that many, though. <laughs> Do you think pumpkins are small? Do you think they're big? Yes. Yes. You know there's the teeny pumpkins. There's also the massive we're, ones. We're talking about the platonic ideal of the pumpkin. Yeah! <gasps> I haven't heard someone Yeah! Platonic How is this not so ideal long. and adorable and paintable? It's not the pl it's not the version of the pumpkin. I don't have to fist a pumpkin that's this sized. Did you say fist a pumpkin? Have you never <laughs> taken pumpkin guts out? I would you have to fist the pumpkin to take the guts out of a pumpkin. Um all I'm saying is I have something to search on Google later. Yeah. Also attached to a single letter and two numbers afterwards. I, you know what? I'm good. Um, Damn yeah, me! Probably a good call. <laughs> Alright. Post it in chat. So you haul yourself into the train car. <sighs> it involves fisting pumpkins. That's all I have to say. You're good there. Okay. So you haul yourself into the train car, um, <laughs> and as as you get to the as you get to the center <laughs> aisle, as you get to the center aisle, uh, all of a sudden one of the rat, one of the like electro rats looks at you and and chirps. You can see like a little spark between its teeth, and then they all oh. turn towards you. Oh, it's kind of cute. Everybody, give give me moves rolls. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh, that's good. Thirteen. Oh my god. Six! Alright, so we got... Thirteen, 13 six, six, and twelve. My only regret about this sheet is that, like, it doesn't have a real initiative roll. Um, rats go last, um, anyway. Uh-huh. How did they go after my ass? Because they, they're not very movie they're not very movie um tommy what would you like to do well it's probably not the best idea to uh proton pack them just yet because we don't see where anything else besides them is there anything bigger like uh, a source of what they could what could be making them like that not in this subway car all right 
uh, I'd like to flip my own ecto goggles on and see if there's a trail leading somewhere else. Like, you know, a higher concentration, or if it's all in here. Uh, yeah, give me a brains roll. 17. Okay. Um, you can see, see a trail leading out of the, the back of the subway car and off to a large pile of uh, debris further down the rails. Okay. How large? I... Um, you ever been to a junkyard? You know the, like, 12-foot no. pile, 12-foot high pile of, like, miscellaneous oh. car bits? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Hey, so, whatever it's coming from that made them this way, it might be over there, and I'm gonna point. I'm gonna kind of start. Would I have to get out of the car to get, yeah, I would. I don't think you were actually in there. Oh, no, I wasn't. So I'm gonna make, start making my way that way, and I'm gonna keep the uh, proton pack trained on it. Just gonna leave Mike to his fate, huh? Uh, Poor Kenzie. defenseless Mike. I, I'm I'm following Tommy. <laughs> wow. I wanna, I wanna do... oh. Okay. Nope. I'm I... following a few steps behind Tommy. We're gonna we're gonna deal with this. Mike is fine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We've All already right. established that Mike's legs are like you know grapefruit size and are perfectly capable of yeah they're out juicy. Of rust. Yeah, they're real juicy. <laughs> some kind of some kind of juicy gourd. Yes. Yes, yeah. and the rats are already gnashing their teeth in anticipation. Yeah. <sighs> Alright, so Kenzie, that's what you're doing with your turn, too. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, Mike, what, uh... This thing's rusted out, it does have, like, handrails, um, and torn up seats, uh, various chunks of metal. What would you like to do? I'm a genius. Various I would like to take a chunk of something that isn't conductive, hopefully. Like, I assume, like, the armrests or the, the things above your head are plastic? Uh, yeah, sure. I want to grab one of those. Baseball swing it. Wait, wait, two of those. Ooh, dual wielding. Okay, Leo. Did you unlock that perk? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. You want to give me a muscles roll to uh, try and break uh, one of the, like, upper handrails off? Kachunk! Seven! Oh, that was a fucking Karu roll there! I had 2d6 and I rolled a three! Yeah, absolutely. No, it would have been a Karu roll if it was two ones and a six for the Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's actually true. Um, yeah, so with, with a feat of Herculean, gourd like, muscly strength, uh, you you manage to pull the pull one of the uh, handrails off, and you you are now in possession of a like I don't know about four foot chunk of uh, plastic. Excellent. How many of those rats are there? BT dubs. About twenty. This is going to be minus one in a second when I thwack it. That's going to be next turn though. Uh, first off, you're getting attacked. So. Yeah, big shock, I know. Uh several of the yeah, rats as they as they're swarming towards you uh leap at you. How could this happen to me? A mic. Come. <laughs> Sorry, just making sure I have the right ghost sheet. I didn't. Um Good. Good, good. Better. Well it uh Forget how attacks work. It's been a couple of weeks since you've actually been attacked by something. Uh, is it Whose fault is that? Uh, me. I believe you have to make a moves roll to dodge? Is that right? You want to look that up? <laughs> I do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Garm Break 1. Very professional DM. Did you know he's a professional streamer? Check out- wait. <laughs> Check out twitch.tv slash I actually got a donation via my Twitch page last night. Ooh. Yo, know, my own personal Twitch page. What? Somebody Ooh. tried somebody tried to bribe me to shit post in Ill's chat. Oh. Oh. Did you do it? No. Yeah, did you take it? No. I, I didn't agree to it and they gave me a dollar and I'm like, thanks for the free dollar, dude. Woo! Why why does the main book not have an index page? 
Like a table of contents, rather? Because it has an index? It does not have an index, either. <laughs> Listen, I tried. I appreciate it. Uh, that's just, uh... Yeah, yeah, and I had blah, blah, blah. We had hand is the right one. Fuck. <laughs> um... Noob. Yeah. What? How? What? I'm legitimately not sure. <laughs> Sorry, well, guys. Then um, you're the DM, so make something up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna. I mean, I'm gonna go with three doesn't hit. <laughs> it's probably gonna have to get a ghost to hit TBH, given that it's a tiny rat. Um, I'm glad it just doesn't get more dice because there's more mice. Sorry, rats. Does not get more mats because there's more rats. Mm. Saw that one coming. I did too. <laughs> uh, how the hell do you determine if something hits? <laughs> it's okay, I lost my PDF. What is this PDF even called? Uh, GBRPG training. Thank you Gee, for the bits. Thank you for the 10 bits. Thanks, Brill. Um, so yeah, I'm legit. Uh, yes, I am an incredibly professional DM. Um, give me one sec. And by one sec, I mean I'm going to check the second edition. <laughs> Uh, um, so what do you guys think of New York? They're much more polite here than I thought I w they would be. I think it's because this is run by a Canadian. That's, mm -hmm. that's probably true. Canadian New Yorkers are my favorite New Yorkers. Like Robin Sparkle? Let's go to the mall, everybody! Yeah. <laughs> Uh, those rolls. There we go. Uh, Brill, we're fighting Pikachu's. Okay, yeah, I need a, I need a, <laughs> I need a moves roll from you, Pi. Apparently, is how this works. I've got the moves like rats. Oh no! Oh no! You don't. Did... I got a five with a <laughs> ghost. ghost. Oh no! Okay, so good news, bad news. Um. Let me tab over to the thing to make sure. Yeah, okay, five of the go. Uh, so good news, bad news. Uh, good news is you don't take any damage yet. Um, yep. Bad news, the force of several rats smacking you in the chest all at once is enough to knock you backwards and onto the ground. And uh, oh, no. you are now being swarmed by rats. I should have put some kind of phobia warning at the uh, start of the session, huh? Yeah. I'll go back and edit that in. <laughs> I was hoping that the bad news was that Pi did so well that there was no longer any danger. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -mm. Uh, that's not bad news. That would be good news. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> uh, alright. Um, and I believe that brings us back to the top of the round with our good old friend, Tommy, who is leaving his friend Mike to die. What would you like to do? I I'd like to approach the thing where the reading was the high- or the, uh, where the thing was the highest. It's, a. Yeah. Uh, Significant the, the degree down. Oh. Oh. Shit. I'm not gonna... That's just mean. <laughs> I, I thought it was closer than that. Sorry, I probably I, could have been clearer. Because I would not have I, started going off that way if, it, if I hadn't really... If I had thought that it was further well, away. You can move back for free, that's fine by me. Um, okay. I All was right. gonna say I'm already technically closer to Mike if we want to have me deal with that. I mean, sure, but also, if I get down there and I wind up aggroing the big thing, whatever it is, we need two proton packs, and Mike has the trap. So we're going right. back and we're dealing with the rats. All right. All right. Ah <laughs> oh, man. 
we can't actually capture all of them, right? Because they're... I mean, if you shoot any ghost enough with, you know, proton beams, it will eventually just disperse. Okay. Yeah, then... The subway wanted to exterminate them anyways, so I yeah. feel like us doing it isn't the worst Yeah, oh, okay. Thing. Then I'll I'll get... Mike doesn't have all the rats on him, right? Like, I can shoot a couple well, like and not worry. Yeah. I I'm going to sh go back and shoot the ones that aren't on Mike. All right. So I don't, <laughs> so we don't have to worry about accidentally hitting Mike and, I don't know, evaporating him. <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, give me a give me a moves roll for, you know, the shoot. Twelve. All right, let's see if the rats can beat that. Go, rat abilities. <laughs> no. Oh. They were close. Yeah, only nine off. Yeah, they pretty much have to get a ghost to do anything, TBH. Uh, and for those of you not familiar with the Ghostbusters system, which is probably everybody, uh, ghosts are terrible for players and good for various rodents. And also ghosts. Um. Alright, yeah, uh, so you... you pull out the, the Neutrona wand, which is the thing that shoots proton beams, and, like, rake a proton beam across, uh, dispersing several of the, like, weird little electro rats, uh, leaving only, like, splatters of that, like, sparking, uh, slime in their wake. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm just gonna defensively stand there and kind of glance in the direction of the bigger trail. And see if it's coming closer. That's just a slime trail. You don't see anything moving down there yet. 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 Kenzie. Okay. What are you up to? Uh, I would like to try to whack at some of the ones more directly on Mike with Joven's spirit guide. <laughs> I will never be allowed to forget my failures. <laughs> no. Uh, all right. Um, gives give me a moves roll. Okay, I'd like to make like one or two swipes and then try to help Mike up. Okay, if that's a possibility. Uh, it'll be a minus one to your minus one die to your roll, but uh, but yes. So that would have been a four plus a two, six. Go rat. Nope. <laughs> uh, splat. You managed rat squeaks. You manage to disperse some of the rats, and you know as you like smack one of them with uh, with Tobin's spirit guide. Um, What's Tobin's spirit guide? We just have Jovin's. <laughs> as you hit the rat, it uh, it pops, uh, which is not the best news for Mike. Mike, um, as the the rat. I'm sorry. Did you say that it? Pops? Yes. Only cats are supposed to do that. What? <laughs> no, don't answer that. I'm good. Um, I don't ask five questions anymore. <laughs> That's valid. After fisting pumpkin discussion, we're good. Um, anyway, the rat pops, and uh, you you feel slime begin to soak into your your jumpsuit, and it uh it it just it feels very tingly. As uh, Kenzie helps you up. Which brings us to Mike. What would you like to do? I would like to horrify my ghost master. Um, Reaction, unfortunately. <laughs> Does, how much is on me? Can I wipe it off? Uh, one rat's Wait. worth. You said it was one rat's worth of mysterious goo. Th this was like a rat that was like on my stomach or something. Yeah, on your chest. Yeah. Right, shirt's going off. And you're I do not want to turn into an electric rat. You're also the only person in this party who could successfully do that because you're the one not wearing the proton pack. So good exactly. On good thinking. Are Are you gonna try and smack at one too? I would like to catch a rat in my shirt. And fling it? Are you trying to make a ratapult? I wasn't, oh but now I am. <laughs> Isn't that closer to a, a rat boucher? 
rat sling. <laughs> I think, I wasn't yes, gonna it's, say it. it's a rat sling. Um, sorry. So are you getting rid of the like the the top part of the uniform? Is that what's going on? Yes. Okay. And you're trying to get a I rat. I don't want to turn into a rat. Right. But you know, I assume there's more than one rat on me. Yeah. So I'm hoping to get one caught up. Well, while I get rid of this goo and also a shirt. Uh, how hard are you throwing it? <laughs> Woo! Okay. Um. <laughs> Give me a muscles check. Uh-huh. <laughs> Please don't ghost. Oh, actually, maybe ghost this. Twelve. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you manage, like, so you dramatically pull off your shirt in a move that you've probably practiced a hundred times, and uh, as you, you, oh, that's why you do that. <laughs> as you manage to ball it up around one of the rats, and you swing it over your head. And uh, whip it, you know, as if into the audience, but instead whip against the wall. Good. Exactly. Um, and you you hear a, like, dull thud, and you can see some more of the, like, goo seeping through it onto the floor when it lands. How you doing there, buddy? Can I just roll my eyes at Mike at this point? Like, as visibly as possible? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you thought that was never going to come in handy. <laughs> the worst thing to be proven wrong about. All right, rats. Mike, the shirtless, you look like a vulnerable target. Also, do you have anything under there, or is it just like, do I have to airbrush your nipples out? <laughs> you bastard, I have a shirt on. That's just the work shirt. All right, um... They're, they're, they're going for your arms. That, with the conversation of so long, gave Bowser, I have to, I have to point this out. <laughs> I do not need rat nipples. What? Ripples. <laughs> Mike, can you give me a moose so roll? That's what that word means. <laughs> Nine! Nine! <laughs> yes, you, with your fancy acrobatic moves, um... And the, the abundance of poles around, you manage to a- avoid any of the rats. Whoa. Shit, they're gonna like find imagining... out about my side gig. I like <laughs> imagining... God! Mike just casually picking up two non-glowing rats and holding them both really daintily above his nipples. <laughs> Don't... <laughs> Don't do that! They carry diseases. You're just lucky there's no such thing as animal handling in this game. <laughs> Don't handle the animals. Don't, Don't do it. <laughs> Even if I wanted to, I'm never going to be able to run for a public office in my life. <laughs> Tommy, rats, yeah. what would you like to do? I'd like to shoot some more of them with another 11. Try and clear this thing out. Oh. Alright. Uh, so, so you... You shoot glorious, glorious proton beams at uh, the rest of the rats, wiping out the remainder of the horde as you go. Congratulations, the subway is clear of rats, but still filled with, uh, you know, electro goop. Yeah, that's fine. So... Like I said, there was a trail that led down that way. I'm gonna point the direction it was. It still yeah. is. It, by the way, is something moving towards us now? Not yet. But you can. Okay. You want to give me a brains roll, actually? I would like to look out oh, with my dear. ecto goggles. Yeah, you, thirteen. You, you, yeah, me... I've got. I've got a third. I've got my brains roll as well. Seven. Goggles on. Thirteen. All right. Um. Tommy, as as you look down into the dark tunnel. With your fancy night vision goggles modified to also see psychokinetic resonances. Um, you swear you see a slight shift in the pile of rubble down the way. But nothing uh, nothing more clear than that. Okay. Something moved down that way. So, uh, yeah. Uh, let's, let's get moving towards it, I suppose. Careful, could just be a homeless guy. 
All right. At this point, I'm hoping. You all uh, creeping down the tunnel towards it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Hold on. We can check if there's a homeless guy. Um, clear my throat and go, <clears throat> I'm walking here! No response. response. No response greets you. Right, it's not a homeless guy. You can determine that no one is walking here. <laughs> not even piss-soaked Willie. Why'd you name it Willie? You know why. <laughs> That's why. You could have named him Richard. Sometimes, sometimes Willie's gotta do what Willie's gotta do. Fun fact about Piss Soaked Willie, his legal name is actually Bill. Like he yeah. it says on his birth certificate, Bill Flagenschrays. Everybody calls him Willie. Uh poor piss soaked Willie Flagenschrays. So you folks creep down the 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 maintenance yard, um, steps echoing in, in the, the cavernous chamber, breathing the dank, rust-filled air. And as you approach the uh the, the pile of rubble, you you hear the sound of sparks, you can smell ozone, and you see the occasional flicker of lightning running from one part to another. What would you like to do? Well, I'm going to look at uh, Kenzie and be like, I guess this is the thing that we have to get. And then I'm going to swing my proton wand around. I'm going to ready the ghost trap. <laughs> With a 12. People get mad if you say moist. People don't like me saying moist. What's wrong with moist? Because it sounds like it is nasty and moist. I love moist things. Cake. Moist food, moist legs, moist people. I mean... Tommy, what are you shooting at exactly? Can it be Kenzie? I, no, I mean, I considered it when she said that. But <laughs> <laughs> I was aiming at where I saw the motion coming from. Because you said that there was stuff shifting. Yeah, right. Um. Shifty, shifty. Shifty, shifty. Shifty station. <laughs> well, mine doesn't beat 12, because that's how nope. math works. Um. What? <laughs> I know, right? Uh, you fire a proton beam into the, the wreckage, and, like, in addition to, you know, melting several pieces of steel uh you you hit one particular point and you see the rubble suddenly shift upwards as if something is uh you know jumping upon being touched kenzie i'm gonna i'm gonna follow that i'm gonna do the same thing <laughs> all right give me a give me a moves roll also yeah, moves us fucking everything wait, wait, wait. in this game yeah yeah how can Candy see where to aim? That's a good uh, there's point. There's now a beam. Oh yeah, there's a bunch connected of to it because it's not like it's a single shot. It's an actual active beam. Yeah. Well. Uh. Please don't make us rely oh, no. on Mike for this. Uh. uh at least it didn't get a ghost. I think 11 is larger than 8. It's true. Uh, Kenzie, you, tr works. you try your best, but it is a big pile of various debris. I don't succeed. And with that, why don't you all give me moves rolls? As we move into proper initiative, yeah. 13. I got 12. I got 6. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Alright, uh... Tell me, lucky you, you're getting another shot. Nine. Fuck. Oh! <laughs> get wrecked. Yeah. It appears to have scu uh. scuttled elsewhere in the the giant warren of debris. Uh, Kenzie, what would you like yes. to do? 
Uh, shoot. If I'm unable to see it and it's scurried elsewhere, should we not start trying to set up a trap and like lure it into it rather than just firing at it? I mean, that we only have one of them. Yeah, you need to weaken it before you can. Uh, yep. Get Which it means into hitting trap. it a couple times. I I'd recommend right. waiting until I'll, you I'll see just... it and then go boom. Yeah. Um, is there something I can do to see it better, considering I don't have goggles? Um. Or is it blind shot? Oh shit. I think it's it, it I think it's blind shot until it tries to run right. you. It's blind shot time. Moves. Please yep. don't give us a ghost. Oh thank God. Don't worry, I'm, I'm coming up. I know. Oh, oh no, well, that's a that's scary. That's a it's many dice. A, it, that's a. It got a bonus there for blind shot. Oh. No. Okay. But uh, yes, no, you don't hit, unfortunately. Uh, which brings us to ghosty time. My favorite time. <laughs> Ken <laughs> Kenzie, as you're you know standing there, kind of. Popping bolts into uh, into the pile, looking for something to to hit. You see, you see several chunks of metal kind of coalesce into something like a beady, horrible face with like glass uh, like buttons where where its eyes should be, and like jagged pieces of metal for teeth. And it, yeah, uh, really cool. yeah. Uh, and it charges at you. Um, it just this like big yeah like construct of uh miscellaneous crap. Oh god. Uh Kenzie, can I get a moves roll from you? Hell yeah you can. This is gonna be the best moves roll of my life. You ready? Yep. Just... Kenzie, uh as you are Wow. As you see this thing charge at you, you uh you you your instincts kick in, and you back away from this, like, gigantic metal monster and its freaky, you know, tail made of a, like, rapidly moving chunk of rail. Or a chain or something. Chain. I'm gonna go with chain. Um, and you manage not to get completely obliterated by it. Uh, which brings us to Mike. All right, I, uh, <laughs> so is this thing coming out of the pile, or is it the pile? Uh, it's coming out of the pile, and it's How doing just fine. It? Um, about six feet. Is it electrified? Like, is the whole thing electrified, or? It's, uh, it's sparking, yep, yeah. and wherever it steps, you can see, um, uh, piles of the, like, sparking electroplasm in its wake. How how close is it to the third rail? A uh, couple feet. Don't you dare try and knock it in. That'll make it worse. How... See that, see that what direction is it in? <laughs> uh, the third rail is on its left, so you're right. I would like to run up to its right, my left. And push it onto the rail. No, don't do that! Oh. That's the worst thing you could do. No, no, no. It'll give it so much power it blows up. Nuh-uh. Give me a muscles check. I got those. I swear. Wow! Oh. Fuck. I have muscles. Oh, thank oh. God. 16. Um, power? Yeah, they only have one stat. Um, Is it power? Power. Yeah. Garma's rolling very well on this. Yeah, yeah. he could not. Uh, but I must. Uh, unfortunately for you, uh, it you try and shove it, and this thing is heavy, and you hear the sound of, like, metal claws digging into the ground as it uh, takes the brunt of your meaty, gored, muscular uh, body hitting it, and uh, doesn't move, but it now looks really unhappy with you. Which brings us back to Tommy, I believe. Yes. Zap. <laughs> Alright. Uh, 13 versus... Well... Woohoo! 
You've successfully hit it, and you blow, like, half of the, uh, metal off of its head, revealing, like, the, the, the traditional green, you know, partially see-through form of, uh, a ghost, and it's got, like, a little ecto-whiskers. Kenzie! Make sure right. you take a second to actually aim. Now that I can see it, sure. Alright, give it a shot, Kenzie. Nine versus seven. <laughs> Who Kenzie. knew that not shooting, shooting blindly actually makes it a better shot? It's crazy, yeah. Now, now that glowing parts of this thing are revealed, you can you can see it a bit more easily, and you like rake the the shoulder armor off of this thing, you know, revealing its like weird ecto fur. You, you get the feeling it's probably it would probably be very soft and cute, were it not. Six feet tall and ghostly and electric. Uh, and were it not walking here. Alright, uh, Mike, terrible news for you. Uh, as you're, as you're, like, recovering from trying to shoulder slam this thing, it turns towards you. But, like, it's, it's kind of... It doesn't really turn by moving its feet, it just kind of reconfigures itself in your direction, uh, and is going to attempt to bite you. So uh, give me a moves roll. Oh dear. Me making a character. You know what would be cool? Convincing people. Being cool. I don't need moves, I don't need to run. <laughs> if I were a better oh. Ghostmaster, that would be coming up more often. Uh, and it will in the future, don't worry. Terrible news, Mike. Um, you get bit on the arm uh, as, as oh. you can feel like some metal teeth and some you know ghostly ecto teeth sink into your flesh, and your hand starts to spasm uh, as you you know get electrified. Uh, you take three brownie points of damage. <gasps> I just got those. As you go, blah, blah, blah. What, what does Mike go? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> the sound Fine. people make Clip when being that. electrified. Clip that, please. You do it. <laughs> I can't. I don't know how to do it. That seems like a you problem. Mm -hmm. Mike, uh, you are unfortunately the proud owner of a, you know, giant ghost rat uh, shocking your arm and clamped onto you. Yep. Yep. Bite in here. How many more like times do we have to track am it? I, am I still attached to the ground, or is it holding me up? You're attached to the ground. And a couple more, show. I'm sorry. Okay. No, you're fine. So can I drop the ghost trap on the ground and then step on it? You are welcome to try. I want to do that. Okay. Um, You drop the ghost trap, hit the... Uh... Hit the button. Hit, hit the foot pedal, um, and presumably look away. Uh, <laughs> otherwise, you probably go blind or die. Um, and you see the like the the cone of light open up, and you can see like parts of the the construct or parts of the 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 ghost rat uh, getting sucked away from the armor, and like some of the armor drops to the ground, but um, it manages to like. Pull itself away from it, dropping you in the process. Woohoo! I would like to start yelling. <laughs> in pain or like joy? We shot. Yelling. Okay. It's New York. Hey, Tommy, where are you walking to? Hey, I'm walking here. And I'm also shooting here. <laughs> hey, can you give me a moose roll? For a tent. All right, Blagatini. Fifteen. How That's did this. he get? Wow. Okay. He's a real tough motherfucker, man. Okay. Oh. Kenzie, your turn. How are you rolling more than a seven right. on two d six each time? Because it's two d six. It's actually three d six for me. Beat no. that go oh, for it. Oh. Seventeen. Jesus Christ. <laughs> if he beats this. Oh my fucking god! Oh! No. I mean, Alright, so didn't you still a ghost. Yeah, uh, so you do hit, um, but, but, 
you hit you hit it, uh, stripping away more of its like you know weird shell. Um, but as it's attempting to dodge your your attack, it uh, kind of like jukes over into the um, the junk pile again and comes out with a you know the like axle of a train car with like the big wheels on each side. It comes out with one of those in its mouth. So it came out with a handlebar mustache. Uh, no, it came out with a big thing to smack you with. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, all I'm getting in my head is the vision of... Do you know that meme where the dog picks up a kitchen rifle and starts running at the camera? Yeah, that, that pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, which brings us, unfortunately, to rat time. Oh, no. Kenzie. Rat time. This thing's mad at you and it's charging you. Uh, oh, you, no. give me a moves roll as it tries to, like, smash uh, slash eat your face. Uh... Aha! Uh -huh. 15 versus 10. Oh, thank god! And it runs at you, and, like, this thing is heavy. This is, you know, pushing the limits of its ghostly powers. And, uh, you manage to dodge out of the way as, like, the, the train wheel catches on, you know, on the ground nearby and it drops it out of its mouth. Still doesn't like you, but at least now it's disarmed. Uh, all right. Mike, you're not being killed for once. What would you like to do? Uh. Mm. And I'm here as a seer to talk about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ghostbusters crossover again. Brilliant. I like how he says, again. All right. Teenage Mutant Ninja Busters. Da -da 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 -da. I would like to take the the bits that I ripped off of the train, hold them like this. I would make like to make a running leap and stab them where the shoulder blades would be. All right, all right. Um, can I just rephrase everyone's mind really quick? Of this is done shirtless. <laughs> shirtless. I have a or... shirt. It's an undershirt. <laughs> okay, um, do you still have your ripples protecting for, you know, NSFW content, or? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna make you- <laughs> I'm gonna make you do two rolls. Yeah. Um, give me moves. Star! <laughs> okay, you don't manage to get on its back, but you manage to get, like, on the underside of it. Give me muscles as you attempt to stab it with these chunks of plastic. Seven. Oh no! Oh, oh, no. no. <laughs> bad things are going to happen to me. So good news, bad news. Actually, <laughs> no, okay. bad news, bad news. Bad um, news, bad news. Ghost, ghost rat. Mike just wanted a hug. It's okay. You you attempt to stab it with um with the, these pieces of plastic, and they go straight into it. And then appear as its fangs. Uh. <laughs> oh no. Oh. <clears throat> Tommy, Mike's gonna yeah. die. What, what would you like to do? Twelve. Well. Alright, you take aim, shoot, and Woo! land another hit on it. And this. Can I not Sorry? Oh man. No, don't worry about it. I'm not going to ask for the thing that would probably ruin my roll. Alright. Um, probably about three quarters of this thing's armor is gone now, leaving only a single you know, leg slash shoulder bit and uh, and the its new teeth. Mm -hmm. Kenzie, one more shot, and then Mike, trap! Oh yeah, I'm, I'm shooting here. No worries. Yay. Alright, a nine. Oh no! Come on! <laughs> oh no! I'm rolling too well, my friends. <laughs> Um, bad thing, bad thing, bad day, bad day, bad day. It's it is harder than you would think to come up with the like incursions for when it rolls a ghost eye. Oh, um, yes, my friend. Max that. Yes, yeah, that is. Six, six, yep. oh, that's that's. Hmm. Yep. Um, it dodges out of the way of your shot and lands with one of its paws on the the third rail, oh, no. and you can see just like. Thick bolts of electricity shooting from its uh its Hooray. mouth. 
All right. Uh, which brings us to rat time. Oh, At no. least I didn't piss it off most recently. It's true. It's using Volt Tackle. Excuse me. <laughs> Wild Charge. Hey, wait. Volt Tackle does a third of that damage to itself. <gasps> no. Recoil damage. Crossing fingers. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. I've seen Pokemon. <laughs> I'm... I've heard of Pokemon. Wait. Oh. It's made of iron. It can even use iron tail. What's Pokemon? Pikachu is just what we call the wild electrified rats here. Mm -hmm. I think that's how that works. Uh, all right. So uh, I'm going to need uh, cool rolls from everybody as it lets out a horrifying crackling scream. Eight. Six. Ten. Fuck. Mike, for once, you are the only person to pass a thing. I am very proud of you. Uh, so everybody but Mike, you're, uh, this thing is fucking terrifying. Like, this is a, a six foot tall at the shoulder rat abomination with one metal leg, like, lightning spewing from its face. You book it. Yeah, that's an appropriate response. I'm fine with uh -huh, this. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Mike, you're yeah. like, okay, you know, that's not too bad. And you look around and see, uh, see Tommy and Kenzie, the only people with proton packs, both in it. Try the trap again. You cowards, I used to work retail on Black Friday. I did too, that's why I'm running. <laughs> you know, I was going to throw the trap at it, but I, that would probably become its tail and then blind us <laughs> and like, melt us into goo. <laughs> so, uh, I'm just going to go... Grab that and close my eyes and push the button. Uh, all right. Um, pay no attention to the mind man behind the rat. <laughs> so, as as you you throw the trap like under it, as it's you know screaming and being all dramatic, um, you hit the hit the button and the rest of the mill falls to the floor as the the ectoplasm of this ghost kind of like destabilizes and gets sucked into the glowing cone of the trap and the trap smacks shut and you watch as uh as the light beeps a little bit you know red 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 and then the trap springs back open <laughs> <You're> just... <laughs> and the rat appears again unarmored but pissed off oh hey so since it's unarmored, are we still fucking booking it? Uh, no, you only get, like, one turn of running away, I believe. Um, good news for cool. you, Tommy. You you end up beside a, a pile of, like, you know, various electronics that have been ripped out of, um, the inside of, you know, trains over the years. Like, old, old boards for control systems and stuff like that. Okay. Can you give me a brains roll real quick? And yes, it does. Fifteen. Shake. Fifteen. You turn around just in time to catch what happens with the trap, and a sudden horrifying realization hits you. The weird electrical nature of this rat-beast thing means that you're going to have to do some work on the trap to get this thing to uh, stay in. Shit. Fuck. Okay, so what does that mean for me? Does that mean I'm getting these parts and trying to put it together? Unless you've got a better idea, yes. Nope, uh-uh. I'm doing it. So what do I have to do? Uh... First off, you're going to need to retrieve the trap. Well, Or get can, Mike to whip I... it at you. Mike, whip it at me! <laughs> Not that, the trap! <laughs> <laughs> and I, can I hold my actual action until Mike throws the trap to me to, to try and work on it? Yeah, sure. Um, okay. Kenzie. As as your your senses uh, return to you and you like see the the ghost fail to be captured, uh, what would you like to do? Well, shoot, I'm gonna look at the trap and be super interested because this is right up my alley, and uh, I really want to help fix it. But I I feel like I have to shoot it. That is yes, that is my option here. We have to stun it, so I'm gonna try a shot for it. All right. All right. Nine versus. <gasps> You hit it, and it, it lets out a, a horrified uh, roar and 
Yeah, just generally looks pretty fucking unhappy about it. <laughs> All right, um, Mike, I assume you're whipping the the. What would you like to do? <laughs> I would like to whip it good. All right. Do you manage to? I'm not gonna make you roll for it. Um, <laughs> for once, there, there'd be a ghost, and then it would just like break. No, no, I just, I just lay down and use my juicily moist leg muscles to kick it over. Oh hell yeah! The worst day it's of like, my life. Imagine the glistening sweat creep that little squeak as the kick goes. It's just slow mo with the light reflecting and everything. <laughs> Lens flare. Exactly. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I hate everything about this. And yet, <laughs> here we are. Tom, you managed to acquire the trap in some way. Okay. <laughs> now what do I have to do to, to uh Um Can I can I amend Tommy acquiring the trap and uh have you just a few beads of glistening sweat land on his face. He kinda shakes them off like maniac style, like You can do whatever you want and I can't stop you. <laughs> Anyhow, what do I have to do to make this trap work Tommy, better? Tommy, give me a brains check. Thirteen. So, Tommy, as as you're, you know, digging through the, the, the pile of junk, you find, like, I do not have enough electrical knowledge to come up with, with parts names on the fly, uh, but you manage to, like, come up with a, a, a small pile of, like, capacitors and, you know, various circuits and, and stuff like that. Um... And you grab the trap, you know, bust out the, the screwdriver that I'm sure you keep with you at all times. Always. And you, I have you know, a full toolkit on me. Excellent, good. And you, uh, you, you like, pull off the back plate of it, you know, solder some shit in place. Um, some more capacity. Like, it looks ugly as shit. The trap is, like, probably another That's half right. again as long as it was before. Um, mm -hmm. But it now has, like, a, a weird kind of, like you know, glowing bit with a, a like, orange uh, LED display on it. Um, mm -hmm. I'll you, make it prettier later. Yeah. You you think that might disperse the, the electric charge from uh, this weird bastard. Cool. And I suppose that would be my action, correct? Uh, I mean, if you want to chuck ahead. it. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Could I chuck be. it back? Yeah, okay. you can chuck it back, sure, why not? I I'm going to, yeah, I I'm not going to make you suffer more. I'm just going to chuck it back. All right. Uh, <laughs> Kenzie, you're blasting and hurt this thing, and it looks mad at you. What would you like to do? Uh, They're working with the trap. I'm going to keep trying to stun it. All right. Give me another shot. Sure. And... Hit me with your best owl. <laughs> uh, at least it didn't ghost it. Yeah, it, it jukes out of the way. And starts moving towards you. Uh, which brings us to Ghost's turn. Uh-oh. Uh... Kenzie, I have, I have probably bad news that it tries to tackle you. Uh... Can you. Can you beat a five, Kenzie? Please, uh, moves? yes. Moves, yes. Bam! <laughs> You're used He's to this thing, every... this big lumbering son of a bitch. Um, and you, you manage to get out of the way. Mike... What would you like to do? Uh, give me that trap. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to place it down and push the button, close my eyes, and wiggle it back and forth. <laughs> Alright, Mike. Uh, you, you thrust out the trap towards it as uh, as as Tommy and Kenzie, you know, cap like hit the capture button on the Proton Stream and uh, like wrangle the thing over towards it. And it gets sucked into it. And you, you can see it, like, trying to claw its way out. Like, there are visible claw marks left on the ground that crackle and, like, you know, have little goopy bits in them. Um, and it gets sucked in. It closes. And you can see the, the new component on the trap, like, glow red for a brief instant as it's uh, absorbing all, all, all the power of this thing. You can see the, the, the orange LED go from, like, 1, 15, 50, 97, 98... And then the light goes green, and the trap is sealed. Da 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 da. da. <laughs> it lets out a bunch of yo know, smoke as uh, as is the way, <laughs> almost as if there were a piece of dry ice inside of the prop. <laughs> hey, I 
wonder if I could build something so that we could convert the electricity that this thing generates into an additional power source so we then wouldn't have to pay as much for our electric bill next month. Hmm. <laughs> or sure we could give that. it we could give it to the subway so it never floods. Mm, doubt. Genius anyway. plans. Yeah, yeah. Well, while I'm well, before we leave, I'd like to just rummage through the junk and see if there's anything else I can salvage to play with later. Yeah, you managed. You know, free, free parts. Yeah, you managed to swipe a bunch of like LED screens and like weird control surfaces and uh, uh, all that kind of stuff. Uh huh. I don't think they'd really care that much. Probably not. As you're walking out, you know, Big Fred is uh waiting for you at the at the entrance, and at some point he's acquired one of those. You know, like travel mugs with the really huge bases. Yep. At some point, he's acquired uh, one of those full of coffee. He just, he's just <laughs> taking a drink of it. He's like, "Oh, hey, you guys are still alive? Is all the the calamitations done?" Yep. All right. Well, uh, you know, billing ain't really my department, but uh, the MTA, you know, you know, the offices is downtown. Probably, I don't actually know where they are. It's not my business. But uh, you know, you got you got all the contacts and Ghostbuster and Ghostbustiness. You know, you you guys seem like some good folk. Well, it was a pleasure doing business with you. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, I got some more work down to to do down in the yard, probably you know, cleaning up whatever's uh, on fire or what have you. Uh, you got you guys can find your way back to the station, right? Yep. Yep. Watch out for the train. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You have you know have, have, have a good one, y'all. You too. And you guys, uh, yeah, you know, make your way back to the back out and up to the firehouse and dump that thing in the containment grid. Congratulations! Yay! <laughs> uh, I, I'm gonna go ahead and say that's you know, three brownie points for everybody except for Mike, who gets five. No brownies. Oh! To recover dude, some of that damage. Were... So you were definitely. All right, so now we know when we capture a ghost, we gotta shake it left to right. <laughs> I'm pretty if, sure if you hold do down that, B. If you do that, no, no, will, down B and then left, right, left, right as it shakes. Right, right, right. Yep, and if you do that, you'll enable a crit. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, we gotta well, check behind every single semi we find near the docks. It's under it. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> God, that was. We were just gonna have a theme with different ridiculous '90s video games and other gaming things throughout so, this entire campaign. I shit you not, this was not meant to be a giant Pokemon joke. And yet, <laughs> yeah, yeah. How was this not supposed to be a giant Pokemon joke with an electric rat? I made this up an hour before the session, and um, <laughs> didn't think the combination of Rat King and Electroplasmic through. Hold on, Good I'm job, trying dude. to remember the name of that one, uh... Shoot, why can't I remember it? The name that you came up with on the fly when we were in the library at one point. God. Uh, was it Miriam? The the Turkish translator? Or not? Uh, yeah, it, Turkish. It, it, was, it was the name of the uh, deity that we had Growl? translated. Oh, the Book of Oz. Yes, yeah, the book of ass. <laughs> 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 yeah, yes, book of ass. Sounds like a good book. I need to read more uh ass. I don't get enough of it in my life. I feel like I've been playing. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> <sighs> All right. Well, once again, thanks as ever for joining me, you sons of bitches. Um... <laughs> You brought this on yourself. You invited us. I'm so bad at this. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully, if all goes well, I will see you folks next week. Um, in the meantime, on Friday we have Frost Maiden. Frost Maiden. Frost Maiden. Yep, yep, yep. Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. Uh -huh. Um, and I am going so. to actually find us a raid target for once. So uh, yeah, say some shit. Yeah, well, this <laughs> episode of Rhyme of the Frost Maiden is going to be interpersonal counseling. 
Probably. It can make it sound slightly more exciting. Nah. I I mean. <laughs> no, I'm I just giving you shit. How I could? Yeah. Oh, I know. All right, we're gonna read Shove though. That's what we're gonna do. Hell yeah! yeah we're gonna read Shove though. That's what we're gonna do. Oh God! Why do I hear my own voice? Whatever, it's fine. Oh God! Why do I hear my own voice? Why do I hear my own voice? It's fine. I don't know. Oh. Because you're talking? No, it's because I had the Lost Races channel open. Uh, that makes sense. Anyway, go say hi to Shavda. Goodbye, everybody. Yay. Goodbye.